Hello and welcome to the Easy Winter Daily Challenge. It is the 22nd of March, and today we are bringing in three sovereign officers while going as fast as possible. We have glitch sickness once again. This is like. Unless I'm forgetting. I think this is like. No, we didn't have glitch sickness yesterday, I don't think. We've had a lot of speedy days lately, and a lot of them have had glitch sickness, which is kind of funny. Uh, we're X Foundry, which could be useful. We got a con camera for bashing. Acid Trap could... Yeah, this is Sovereign. Sovereign doesn't have armor, so that's too bad. Uh, Stellar Shield's nice to have, and a Gold Fire, nice to have. Let's go. I thought I thought I tested <laughs> that my audio settings were fine, but apparently they weren't. Sorry about that. Eh, that's annoying. Yeah, if my CPU gets like slightly overloaded, then it breaks the audio, which it was working perfectly fine. And then I launched Heek's signature in OBS, and that apparently killed it. Meh. Um, but we got swords, we got heat sensors, we got target fleas. Let's go. Okay, no orbiting. Nice and smooth entrance. I wish I had a gun to get that key easier to get this crate, but we're probably bypassing this crate, or are we? There is zero chance that we get the ship done in under 10 seconds. That means that maybe I should go for crates. This one's a little out of the way, but more in the way than going for this one. And then this one we can get on our way out. Will this take more than 20 seconds? There's no way this takes more than 20 seconds if I go for crates. Uh, the one reason to not go for crates... is we have glitch sickness. So a lot of the things that are normally the f fastest for us are no longer good. Uh, I should check. Ooh, we've got a pretty short... Whatchamacallit. Pretty short response time for the target to get out. One, two, three, four, five, six. In theory, we're still fine. Yeah, that's pretty sketch. That's pretty sketch. This would be fine if you didn't have an emergency shield. Actually... You know what I can do? Okay, this might not set off the alarm. Okay, so I smack you. Pick you up. We don't care about deaths. Toss at you. Make sure the body goes behind. All right, and then we should be fine. Unless you see me. Okay, so we still got a second before the alarm actually goes off. So I think I'm fine. Am I making a mistake? I might be making a mistake again. Subverter. Okay, 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 okay. That's good. That's good. That means we don't actually have to get to the target. Like, if the target's getting too close, we can just subvert the telepad. Okay. Uh, going along this way is about the same speed, and we get an item. And then we go. And I'll just pick this back up. Go stab. 
Go stab. Go bash. Okay, this is a little sketch, but should be fine. Okay, we got plenty of time. I was worried for nothing. I just got paranoid after... Was it yesterday? No, it was like a couple days ago. When we set off the alarm and the target was getting scarily close to getting away. Alright, so yeah, we're at seven seconds now. We'll go for this crate. Uh, I would ignore you, but you might be slightly problematic on the way out. Uh, I'll pick up your sword for bashing. Open car. Oh, more subverters. All right. Don't mind if I do. That does mean going back for this one was uh, not important, but eh, oh well. Well, it makes it less important. Just ha having any subverter is way better than having none. Then having extra beyond that is slightly good, because this is at least useful against more like shields and stuff. I guess like you can disable shields, you can disable center guns and stuff it's it's still pretty good all right we do need to capture you i think we want to go out the window i don't know how i missed that all right now i want to bash you through if possible slipstream hey all right <laughs> i forgot about that um oh you know what we can do here so yeah i'm, I'm glad to have extra subverters because i can continue to do stuff okay then we can walk down here and then go <laughs> i love subverting turrets all right pick you up toss you over here run over here we should probably get pod moving at least okay rifle it's automatic and concussive has its uses take everything because I can what do you bonk against oh that's rude All right, we'll shoot this out. And we'll go around, I suppose. Okay, this is a little awkward. That looks pretty smooth. No! You're kidding. Ah, that, that's rude. Oh, well. 15 seconds. We got plenty of things. Okay. I'm noticing a little bit of stutters, so let me... Kill some processes. Yeah, I guess we're just killing Firefox. Goodbye. Okay. Um, Alright, next we have heat sensors, glitch dash, target fleas. Alright, so we got easy target fleas now. You know, something that I just realized... Okay, major mistake that I just realized is that we got Subverter from that first crate. So we could have just gotten back onto the pod 
and then subverted the telepad from space. The alarm was already off. So that's something that I probably should have done. On the flip side, we got a slipstream. Um, if the slipstream allows us to do ship three in under 10 seconds, then it's an even trade. But if ship three turns out to be target fleas, then I really should have just subverted the telepad. But oh well, that's the realization for me now. It doesn't really help me in the future. Uh, we'll take a gun. We want a lethal gun. Yeah, whatever. All right. Defenders could be an issue. Oh, we got subverters. Okay, I think I got everything I need. Yeah. I bought Dragon's Dogma 2 today. It's downloading as we speak. I've been looking forward to this game for years. Hope it runs well. <laughs> uh, all right, so telepad's there. Telepad right there is <clears throat> close enough that I don't think I even want to to get it from space. Because we need to set off the alarm and then hop back in and then go down here and wait at least a second for the alarm to go all the way off. And then we have to like leave and then pick ourselves back up. Whereas we could just run in, subvert, run out. I think we just run in, subvert, get out, maybe consider going for that crate. We can just immediately start with this. Subvert. We got pretty low timing here, but I have confidence in my abilities, probably. If we had... If we had a loud weapon. If we had a loud weapon, it may have been worth it to go in here, shoot, to get you to teleport, and then we take you out. Uh, just to get your item. And then we can just drag you back into the pod, and that's not too hard. Um, do I go for this crate? I don't think that crate can have anything that's useful to me. Well, that's an overstatement. But most of the things that would be useful are teleporters. And those are unlikely to be of any use to us with a glitch sickness. All right, let's, uh use this moment to stack the pod just so we can get some rather random stuff return to pod and we go one two three and a bit of change hop out remote and one two three and a bit of change okay There we go. Man, I'm so glad I developed the system of just counting to three when leaving the ship. It basically guarantees that you'll have enough time to pick up the target on the return trip. Okay. Bloop. And seven seconds, fantastic. And did we make the correct choice on ship? Well, okay, okay, okay. We could have done that in under 10 seconds if we didn't have the slipstream. Would have been slightly slower, but would have been fine. Um, so yeah, let's see if we made the correct choice on ship one. Okay, it is not target fleas. So on the off chance that we get this done in under 10 seconds, then it was worth it. 
to go through ship one. Because doing this without the slipstream, actually, yeah, I think either way, actually, it's worth it to have gone through ship one. Having the slipstream is just very helpful. All right, pick up stuff and let's see what we've got. That's a pretty long ship. But we can at least go through the door. E, that doesn't look like under 10 seconds to me. But I've been wrong about that before. Because it depends on how windy the hallways are. Auto zoom. Auto zoom. There we go. Okay. Tracker is a little scary, but hopefully we're fast enough that we can get around and at least subvert them. Or we can just ignore them. A subversion going through here is actually pretty powerful. Now let's skip this. Alright, so we got subvert, steal, subvert. Um, subvert. I don't think this is going to work, but if we got to subvert both of these doors and the defender, that would be pretty crazy. Um, we do need to take out the defender with one of the subverters so that we can get the target. And then we smack the target probably over here. And the alarm's going off no matter what. Might as well use the short range one. I'm just gonna make sure that I get both the door and this guy. And give him a smack. Okay, let's hope that the tracker doesn't get too close. All right, it's looking pretty fine. And let's hope that we can actually reach. Oh, I don't think that's actually gonna reach. It's only a slight detour if we can't, so it's not the worst. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay. Subvert. That's not close enough. There we go. Okay, and then run down here. Pause. Yeah, ship. There's nothing we can do about the alarm. So having it set off right at the beginning is our best course of action, and hopefully it stabilizes pretty soon. It's getting there. It's getting there. Okay, I wanted to subvert both of these doors, but instead I will settle for subverting the door and the defender. Which is just as well. Uh, hopefully I can smack the defender in this mess. Alright, steel card, we need that. Ooh, we're at six seconds. That is not promising. That is not promising at all. Then we use our final subverter on you. Oh, we got an extra. Nah, uh, I guess I'll subvert you as well. Okay. Wish I could have had my pod moving by this point, but yeah, the ship's stabilized by now, I guess. All right, subvert. That's not a subvert. Uh, slipstream. Give you a smack. I was really, really hoping for a glitch trap, but alas. 
Okay. So, while they're being flung... Let's see. I think I'll use shield just because for safety. Ah, uh, we're at seven seconds. Darn. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to be under 10 seconds. And I was unfortunately right. All right. Pick up. All right, I got a shotgun to help guide myself. Let's kind of aim more towards the target. And I'll blast myself that way. Okay. I feel like this is too quiet. Why is it not making noise? I... I'm, I Did I misclick? I must have misclicked. I meant to do stop remote controlling earlier and instead I did cold fire drive. Oh, okay, that's... Okay. That That actually probably cost me like a second. That was taking a long time. Oof. All right, so on the plus side to all of that. No, I need to submit the score right now. Okay. Whew, okay. Wait, what happened? Oh, 7-2, Lost Ship 2. Well, clearly the target got away. Maybe did 7-2 not get... Did 7-2 not get the slipstream from ship 1? And then wasn't able to get to the target in time? Or maybe screwed up the... Subverting the telepad? I'm not sure. Okay, so with all the knowledge of all three ships, well, at least most of the knowledge, I don't know, it's in all the crates, I um, think it was worth it to go through ship one in the end, because going through ship three without that, uh, without the slipstream would have taken a decent amount of time. Almost certainly over 20 seconds. So we would have had this at least the same style bonus or style penalty. And possibly worse, depending on how long it took to get through all that. Um, but yeah. Overall, pretty happy. Yeah, I'm not sure... What in the end is was the better choice after getting that uh getting the subverter. Cause not going through ship one would have left us with just one subverter on ship three. And no slipstream. That would have actually been kind of scary. Then yeah, in the end I'm glad I did it. Though if I'd realized what I was doing at the time, I might not have. So, uh, eh. I win? Question mark? Yay. Okay. Well, here's how it currently stands. And let's look at yesterday's. We have me in first place with 39 seconds and a 485. 72 in second. Zazaza in third. Cassandra in fourth. And Rond in fifth place, making up the top five. Good job, everybody. And with that, that is all for today's daily challenge. Thank you for watching. Oh, tomorrow we've got a challenge Saturday with limited slipstream use. That's scary. Um, 
Also, it's a visitor with a bring in, which is not the greatest. Oh, well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, thanks for watching, though. And I hope to see you tomorrow.